Joining us now is Dr. Celine Gounder, who served during the transition on then-President-elect Biden's COVID-19 advisory board. She's an epidemiologist and infectious disease expert at the NYU Grossman School of Medicine and Bellevue Hospital and host of the Epidemic Podcast. Good morning. Good to see you. Great to see you. So presumably, these measures that the president is set to announce, do you agree with them, and do you think that they are enough? I do think we need to be tightening up our uh, recommendations and restrictions around travel. I think we should have really tightened up that window for testing far, uh, far earlier in the pandemic with the emergence of the Delta variant, which has a very short incubation period. So I think it's a move in the right direction. Uh, it's, it's a little bit too late. Were you surprised that this Omicron variant turned up in San Francisco, uh, in California, in the United States, even though we'd only really just heard about it a couple of days ago? Not really. Many of us were assuming that it was already here. If you think about where are the big travel hubs, uh, San Francisco is one, especially with Asia and, and other parts of Africa. And California tests pretty aggressively for the Omicron variant. So, of course, you're not going to find something unless you're looking for it. So the Delta variant was 50 percent more contagious than the Alpha variant. We don't know yet how contagious or infectious Omicron is, but can we, just using the science, assume that it will be more so than Delta. There are some worrisome signs that we're seeing from uh, South Africa. The slope of increase was really dramatic in terms of Omicron cases. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's more infectious, but it points to the fact that it could be. The case that was uh, discovered in San Francisco, fully vaccinated person showing mild symptoms had received both shots, but not a booster. What does that tell you? Well, one of the other concerns we have about Omicron is could it be immune evading? So that, that could apply to natural infection or vaccines. We are seeing uh, people who had prior infection in South Africa being now reinfected with Omicron. And the vaccines may be a little bit less protective, as was the case with this person in San Francisco against the Omicron variant. So one of the questions, and you and I were talking about this, uh, doctor, the danger of future variants. As the virus bounces around the population between unvaccinated and vaccinated people, how critical is it for folks to get vaccinated? Because my understanding, based on the science, is that because we have so many people unvaccinated, that gives rise to future variants. Well, any time the virus has the opportunity to spread from one person to another, it is replicating and it mutates. And some of those mutants will end up being variants. Um, so we're really increasing the odds, the risk of a variant emerging, the more we allow the virus to spread. So vaccination is certainly a way of reducing that risk of new new variants. So quickly, before we go 10 seconds, what do you recommend for people to do as they gather for the holidays? Get vaccinated, get vaccinated. And if you haven't gotten a booster yet, get your booster. All right. Dr. Celine Gounder, as always, thank you very much. Appreciate it.